Hello everyone and welcome back to another Python tutorial and this time I'll be continuing with more NumPy functions. This time I'm going to teach you guys about np.where. So first let's import NumPy as np. Alright, real standard. Now for this example we're going to need to create an array. So let's just say array equals np dot random dot rand n so let's make it like five by five real simple now we can print out array and just see what that gives us all right so it gives us some like pretty small numbers like i think it's like under three you see like there's some zeros around and some twos at most so two point whatever and then let's make it so that this is a little bit easier to understand. Let's just set them equal to like ones and zeros. So to do that, if it's like greater, ze greater than zero, we can put parentheses around and multiply by one. Let's just see what this does. And you might not understand the code here right now, but I will explain it. All right, so here's the code. It gives us some ones and zeros based on whether or not the uh, per element was like greater than zero. So if it's greater than zero, then it returns true. Let's just like do this for now without the times one. So it gives us some like trues and falses. And when we multiply them by one, like if it's true, you'll times one. If it's, if it's false, then you'll get zero. And that's basically what this code does. You can do an entire NumPy array compared to like a number and it'll just return like true or false for each element. It goes per by like by element, basically. Um, now, what we can do is demonstrate how to use where. So let's set array equals to np.where. Um, so let me explain first in what situations you would actually want to use where. Let's say like you have some features that you want to do some analysis on, but you really want to like remove the zeros in the columns or just like remove all the zeros wherever you want them to be removed. In that case, you would want to replace the zeros with like NAN and then, or like not a number, and then you can fill it in just with whatever like the mean of the column is for example you can deal with missing values as such um all right so where array equals zero so let's say we want to remove the zeros and replace them with uh an np dot nan or nan all right so we can do np dot nan and then Basically, this second uh, argument that you pass in is what you want the element to be replaced with if this is true. This is a conditional. And then right here is what you want to replace the elements with if it's false. All right, so if it's zero, we want to give it np.nan. And if it's not zero, then we just give it the same value array basically all right and the principle is the same here with array double equals zero it's the same as like greater than zero here because it goes by element when you do like these um conditionals or like comparisons i guess all right so you can see we have ones and all and all the other values are nan so then you would be able to like fill NA in like pandas or whatever you're trying to do. Um, like you can fill it with the mean. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.